Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. This is going to be part two of your happiness is offensive to them. Keep smiling. I recorded the part two of the video. However, there was no sound and it is a mystery as to why. So we're going to do that again and just tap in to see why your happiness is offensive to them, okay? So let's go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I really hope that this channel is helpful to you. And for all of my continued supporters uh, and subscribers, I really love you all so much. I pray for you and I hope that this channel is helping you on your spiritual path as we do this thing all together. All right, Most High God, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, spirit guides, archangels, and all divine beings of the highest white light, please come in and allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know as, at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. I pray that every word that comes out of my mouth is anointed and authorized by you, most high God. Archangel Michael, Please come in and protect my energy. Please protect the collective and camp the angels of protection around myself and the collective and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light, please and thank you. Wow, there is a powerful energy in here right now, y'all. Really powerful. Holy Spirit, are we going somewhere else with this message? I feel something completely different. Okay. Um, wow, door to spirit as I'm saying this, y'all. Holy Spirit, what is... The presence of the Most High God is here. Oh my goodness. Holy Spirit, use me. Okay, so we have the door to spirit. Okay. I feel like your connection with the Most High God, with your spirit guides, you could be highly intuitive. You could be just a very happy person with the sun. And that really bothers people. It could feel like you're just very blessed and abundant. And everything about you just really, really bothers people. What else? Holy Spirit. Why does this person's happiness offend these people? Yeah, door to value. They feel like you're just have it all you ha you have a connection with God you're very abundant okay you're highly psychic with the third eye that's confirmation we already saw the goddess of the moon okay so naturally people just try to want to attach themselves to you okay this community of people are wanting to attach themselves to you for a victory okay I feel like these people want to attach themselves to you to get what you have, okay? These people have a dark attachment to them, okay? Oh, 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else? Yep, woman holding a coin, that's confirmation. You are very abundant. I feel like you're very stable. Also, that you're able to heal from difficult situations very easily. That's another reason why they're, they're, they get offended, okay? Some of these people could have walked away from you or you could have walked away from them and you're very stable and they you're still happy with the sun and they can't really stand that wow your third eye is wide open you're able to see through these people you could you saw through all of the illusions and that is why they know that they can't do anything to get over on you. Also, you have a very powerful voice with Archangel Gabriel and the third chakra. You are speaking about something that really bothers these people. They're offended by what you say and what you know. Anything else, Holy Spirit? <laughs> and they just hate that you still continue to love and you still have a big heart, even though they've tried to break it. We're going to clarify all these with tarot. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, Divine Beings. I feel your presence is so... Oh my goodness, it's it's increased. I feel like I feel like I've just been introduced to my new spirit guides. Wow, this is awesome! Whoever you are, you you are. I'm hearing all I do is win, but I'm I'm not hearing it in a cocky way. I'm hearing it, yeah, like. You're just strong. It's like the way that you win, and it's not about winning or losing for you, but it's like your mentality is um, define a win. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, Holy Spirit. It's like you define a win. It's like to most people, what they consider to be a win is based upon the perception of other people. And what society considers to be a win. I see that you, your situation, while most people would perceive it as a huge loss, you value your, one of your most difficult times as one of the most enlightening seasons of your entire life. Because this brought you to the place of this consciousness that is so powerful, so strong. It made you resilient. It made you see life differently. It made you value things that are not monetary. It t completely changed you, okay? And your confidence has nothing to do with money at all. Your confidence lies in your connection with the Most High God. This is some amazing <laughs> energy, spirit, guys. I love you guys. Whoever I'm working with, I cannot wait to get into meditation. I mean to tell y'all, I literally literally feel a completely different presence from what I usually feel when I'm channeling and not that my spirit guys before were not awesome I love them but it's just like something happened just now it's hard to explain but it's a very beautiful feeling I'm so grateful I love y'all spirit guides 
All right. Oh, <laughs> they like we love you too, Angel. That's what I just heard. I'm so. Look at this. They're telling me that this is me right now, and I'm sorry, y'all. This is not about me, but this is happening right now. So they're they're calling me Queen of Cups and Angel. So like the angel of love, the earth earth angel of love. Oh, I love you guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify what's going on with these spirit guides. What's going on with these folks here? They're telling me that this is all this community of people. See, okay? So they are basing your value upon the fact that they know you are very abundant, okay? And because that's how they value themselves. Money is how they measure their value could be a king of wands energy in reverse as well as the king of pentacles why is door to value here holy spirit okay right that, that's because it's like that's what makes them happy their ten of cups is based on money whereas your ten of cups which is actually, thank you, Holy Spirit, is falling right between the two of these, okay? This is them, this is you. Your value, your Ten of Cups is the Most High God, your spirit guides, peace, love, um, enlightenment, and theirs is all about money, okay? Let's get one for, uh, that's too many. Door to Spirit, Holy Spirit, Door to Spirit, Door to Spirit. Yeah, these people are fighting, competing with you, trying to get to you, watching you. They're watching your connection with the Most High. They're watching, somehow watching you grow and connect with the Holy Spirit. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, after all that you've been through, all that they put you through, you're still standing. And your relationship with God could not be any closer than it is now. And they can see that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, the third eye. Why is the third eye here, Holy Spirit? Why is the third eye here, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, they're saying that these people felt like, again, like you were blind, naive, right? Out of balance, unaware, okay? This person is looking at the completely opposite direction. She couldn't see anything going on behind her back, right? So God said, okay, so they think you can't see. They think they're going to juggle you and do all this stuff behind your back like for example this is what was happening behind this person's back or your back collective somebody was juggling you potentially cheating on you with multiple people simultaneously i'm hearing they could have been having a lot of third party shenanigans going on a lot of stuff behind your back but you over here in la la land talking to your spirit guides here um you know, focus on your pinnacles, just trying to be free and be happy. So they took that as uh, she won't know what's going on. He won't know what's going on. So God said, uh, I'm just going to boost up your spiritual gifts. Open your third eye so that you are hypersensitive, hyperpsychic, and you will be able to see. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. So that is why they're very offended by how happy you are because now your gifts are even more enhanced right and they are obsessed with your abilities i'm hearing your spiritual gifts yeah they feel like 
they feel like and they're probably telling people that you are some type of dark witch doing magic when all the while you work directly for and with the most high God. Okay. Woman holding a heart, Holy Spirit. Woman holding a heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, so we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. These energies really did a number on you. Ten Swords to your back betrayed you over and over and over again. Okay. We have the Dead card out, out here. Okay, the Most High put an end to that relationship, those relationships, and brought you some evidence about this situation, about these people. And now you see, you know, who you were dealing with. God has completely opened all of your eyes, your, your, your regular eyes and your spiritual eyes, especially your third eye, wide open, okay? Again, angel of strength, they told me to flip it over. Nine of wands, the wounded warrior, still standing after all that you've been through. And you're still passionate about life. You still love. You're still excited about working with the Most High. And anything that you're doing, you're very excited about it. The fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, with the throat chakra, Holy Spirit. Let's get one for the throat chakra, please, Holy Spirit. Too many. Throat chakra, Holy Spirit. Okay. Hey, man, in the reverse. Okay, so you're no longer silent. You're no longer quiet. You're no longer sitting still. Okay, you're speaking out about a lot. I'm hearing. <laughs> You've been enlightened, awakened, activated, and now you're just on your path. You're speaking your truth, okay? You had a significant amount of time in hermit mode when you were being pruned by the Most High, being uh, taught, learn, learning a lot, researching a lot, okay? And now the Most High is saying, you're a star, okay? It's time for you to go shine your light and help others, okay? <laughs> spirit guides I love y'all so I was about to ask can I clarify woman holding a coin they said split it and boom queen of pentacles that's you okay whatever it is that you are doing is going to bring a lot of financial abundance to you and I feel like this is really what you are focused on I feel like you are a healer I feel like you want to help heal whatever this is with this abundance that you're getting it's going to have something to do with you helping others to heal and find happiness through difficult times when dealing with these seven of swords type of energies because I feel like you have had your share of deception and you know, sneaky individuals that come in like this with these offers of love, but they're really, you know, have an ulterior motive out to get you, out to hurt you, out to steal from you, steal your joy, steal your peace, okay? Don't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This fell out, okay? These people right now, Somebody that's in your energy is, is really pissed that this message is coming out, okay? Um, they're having a lot of sleepless nights. They know that you know a lot, okay? They don't know how much, but they know that you know a lot. And they are pissed because you're like not even trying to really expose anybody you really just don't care you realize that these are some of the heal the people that need the healing that you are, want to offer this world and you know you realize that they are just misguided souls 
So I think you're going to just focus on helping people to heal. The Most High God is saying you can expect to have all of the desires of your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a happy and stable home environment. The divine counterpart that you deserve. Okay. You're going to have a passionate, new, exciting venture that you're working on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I should have just said it. I said to myself, with the Ace of Pentacles, this new exciting venture, venture that you're working on with the Ace of Pentacles. And I didn't say it because, <laughs> anyway, we got the Ace of Pentacles right here, needless to say. But you're going to be working on something, starting your own business, potentially. And the Most High is bringing you this beautiful Ace of Pentacles to give you a nice and lovely jump start. This is beautiful. All right, let's get some messages. These are the relatables. Okay. No, this is significant. Okay, so you could have been asking something. If somebody's asking something frantically over and over again about the Most High, and this is something that you already know is not right for you so this is the most high saying no there was a reason why this came out okay holy spirit please give us some relatable messages for this reading what should we be aware of yep high priest high priestess that's that third eye wide 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 open Okay, it won't work. These people could be trying to come back again. The toxic ex, um, they're gonna have to take a L because they lost you. Okay, I think they realize they lost you. Although I'm not getting the energy of somebody that will ever admit it, but they don't have a choice to admit it but to admit it to themselves because this person she is or he is up at night crying about losing you because they realize how valuable you were it could be family members it could be co-workers or business situations yeah these people re really are feeling the loss of you yep didn't i say you were being activated and i was being activated <laughs> at the top of this reading like unbelievable holy spirit what else yeah somebody's getting a spiritual beat down by your ancestors and spirit guides and their own I'm hearing somebody's own ancestors and spirit guides are giving them a spiritual beat down because they have lost their mind and they're losing their minds as well with losing you. Somebody's going to jail. Got your soul tribe coming in. Okay. You could be a wealthy man or a wealthy woman. Somebody here watches tarot or knows how to do tarot. Somebody here is a chosen one. This message is not for everyone, but somebody here is a chosen one. Secrets are being exposed. I just heard secrets were exposed. Somebody here has had some rapid growth. He or she did it. Okay, so somebody's here is wanting to know if someone did something. The Most High and your spirit guides are saying, yes, he or she did it. Whoa. 
Yep, they were doing way too much. Way too much, okay? <laughs> Moderation, <laughs> my spirit guys are hilarious. <laughs> they should have been doing whatever this was in moderation or not at all, whatever it was, because now they're facing jail time. Yep, these are your enemies. People that wanted to bring you down, putting that right on top of the five of wands. They'll be facing a lot of challenges as a result of their actions while you are facing your happy endings. You are evolving because you trust your intuition. I'm hearing you don't you don't doubt your intuition and that's exactly how it should be. As long as you're staying in deep meditation and communication with your with your spirit guides and your team, trust that intuition. Keep your energy cleansed though. Because these people I could feel heavy projection. Yeah, these were gold diggers that just wanted your money. And they have not changed, okay? For that reason, judgment is upon them, okay? All right, my loves, that was the reading. Oh, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. And, yeah, they are intimidated by you. So that was a reading. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And join the Lightwork family. I would love to have you guys. Let's go ahead and cleanse this energy. Sending you guys some energetic Palo Santo. Make sure you guys are doing your cleansing and meditating and deep breathing exercises, okay? Most High God, we love you and thank you. Spirit guides, non-physical divine beings of the highest white light, divine ancestors, we love you and thank you for these messages. We return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. I shall.